Hello everyone and welcome back to Kenji, where our group is currently slowly recuperating after their run-in with the big things. In this episode, we hope to make a move all the way down to one of the towns down here. If I uh, turn the UI back on, maybe I can actually see the town names. So let's uh, bring that up again. Uh, Drifter's Last or Clown Steady. Ideally, we're not going to be running into any big things and getting our faces eaten off. I mean, that is always the goal in every episode, but especially in this one, given what happened in the last. But uh, to start things off, there's going to be a bit of recuperation going on. Thankfully, we do have a reasonably large amount of food available that we are slowly feeding to those that need it and uh, gradually improving our inventories as we go. But that is going to be it for the next little while, while Avak just watch, uh, watches over the squad, being the good leader that he is, making sure that there are no big things or possibly skin spiders come to eat everyone's faces off. I will bring you back when everyone's in a bit of better shape, really, to continue our journey. Damn it, Crumble John. Avak had a nap for a few moments. Just lay his head down just to recover. Crumble John, of course, here. All, uh, all patched up, and you had your back to a gorilla who stumbled upon us. You scallywag. Ah, uh, that was completely not my fault, of course. No, 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 no. Avak was sleeping, and therefore I, being also Avak, am, uh, am let off the hook. I, I feel that's fair. Crumble John, however, ah, scoundrel. You abandoned your post. Uh, right, let's have a look. Who's uh, in a good state? Actually, um, infinite wingwangs. Uh, doing fairly good. Ruka, I would really like it if you could just take care of this by yourself. Let's get everyone else out of the way so there's no cleave attacks. Ruka is almost certainly going to be able to block, I say, almost anything. Uh, apparently not. Not quite. Let's have a look at this. It's got an attack of 43. Ruka, while blocking, has a defense of 50, which is great, but, yeah. Um... We're going to need a bit of help here, I would say. Go ahead and get involved there. Hopefully passive. This illustrates a problem that we've got going on right now, and that is we desperately need to get uh, ourselves into a position where we can ideally start uh, getting back to ranged again, because right now things are not going fantastically well for us. Abba, though, stacking up those bleeds. Wow. Uh, Infinite Wang Wang, I believe you also have a uh, a katana. Uh, I would be fairly happy if you could join in here. I mean, I could have everyone join in, but uh, I think uh, having just two people who are reasonably well well kitted out would be better right now. Especially stacking up those bleeds. Ah, you don't actually have a uh, a katana. That's a bit of a shame. But it's fine. It's fine. This gorilla is going to be some good training. Uh, it's bleeding a lot. Oh, Ruka. Super need you to taunt. My goodness. Right, could you attack that target? Infinite wing wang. Run away. Just just flee for now. Uh, you are good to get back involved. All right. Well, unfortunately, actually, Ruka has got a lot of issues. And now me. I've got a lot of issues now, too. Run away. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to be micromanaging this battle in much the same way we've done everything else. If we can just land a couple more solid blows on the head, we should be able to finish this gorilla off simply by, you know, decapitation. It's a pretty, uh, pretty solid means of killing anything, I have found. Unless it's distributed all of its uh, brain cells across the whole of its body like a jellyfish. That would be a bit worrying if the gorillas did that, but I don't think that is the case. And that's the end of that. Ah, look, look at Avak there. Haha, -ha, yes, it was it was the very easy battle. Yeah, right. The only reason that wasn't an awful battle is because Ruka basically face-tanked it the whole time. On the plus side, we should be able to get some decent loot off this. Oh, really? Just skins? I was so hoping for something more than that. My lord. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, could be worse. I suppose that is true. Technically speaking, it, it definitely could be. Uh, go ahead and have a bit of a kip over there. Um, Ruka, you're being patched back together. Infinite Wing Wang, hopefully you can take care of Avak after that. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, it looks like everyone. What a me What? How rude. Staring straight into Avak's eyes, as he said that as well, no doubt. Well, back to sleeping for a bit. 
Stay very, very still, Infinite Wing Wang. Our saviors can just as easily become our destroyers at this point. Slowly moving the corpses away from camp, you'll notice that there are some skin spider corpses here as well. Unfortunately, the, yeah, I'm fairly certain the, the uh, corpses are starting to attract uh, other creatures, so we're probably going to be on our way out of here very, very soon. I'm just letting a couple of people recover as much as they can. Griffin is unfortunately unconscious again uh, due to the last skin spider engagement. Ah, there's a bloody gorilla over there. Um, well... That is unfortunate because pretty much everyone is kind of messed up right now. Let's just leave it, do its thing. Maybe it'll run away. Maybe it won't see us. That would be ideal, honestly. Maybe it'll just eat those corpses. And Griffin will wake up. And in the time it takes... Ah, there we go. Uh, can you wake up? No, recovery coma. Ah, we've got to wait for that to uh, finish doing its bits and bobs. Um, could we get these corpses further away? Are you going to go and eat? Yeah, you're eating a corpse. You know what? That, that's perfectly fine. Honestly, having the gorilla there is not the worst thing in the universe. Uh, as it would potentially be, uh, be a deterrent to any further attacks from skin spiders. And one gorilla, honestly, although it's started a lot higher, it's a single opponent. And I can manage a single opponent a lot better than I can manage three easier opponents. Now what are you up to? Aimless. Fine by me. You just keep noshing down on the gorilla corpse and the other corpses. That is perfectly alright. If you want to just wander off, though... Oh, there's another one. Ah. Uh, I think it's probably time for us to move. Uh, it's probably... Probably time. I think we've uh, waited as long as we can. Uh, let's have a look at people's wounds. Uh, Crumble John, I think you're going to have to uh, hoist up Griffin there. Yoink. Infinite Wing Wang, your arm is messed up. Uh, perhaps Avak could splint that. Uh, Ruka, gonna have to be up. Big Al, gonna have to be up. Let's let's get on the move. We are going to want to dismantle and take down our entire camp as quickly as we can. Not only because, you know, it's nice to not leave a mess, but also because we really need these beds, actually. Um, though, the issue here will be Ruka being able to carry all of these. Probably not. Uh, Big Al, let's pop your backpack on. I think Big Al's backpack is actually completely full of food. Uh, but that's fine. Ruka, if we can get this one done as well. And we're going to start moving out a little bit at the very least. Yeah. Let's have a look. They're all over there just noshing on some more corpses. And I am fine to allow that to continue. There we go. And we just want to grab this one. Right, Ruka. Over yonder, please. Uh, what's on the floor? Animal clothes. Let's not leave those behind, please. No, nope, come on. Pick them up. There we go. And these ones. Look at, look at these ones. What? It, fine. It's fine. Don't care enough. All right, let's move out. They might have been useful trade goods, but uh, better we trade whilst everyone still has all of their limbs attached, and indeed is that everyone is still alive, than if we have slightly more to trade, but we've lost someone. Right, they're moving off, it seems, as a group. I'm okay with this. We're back on the road, everyone. That was a bit of a harrowing few days unintended uh, emergency triage slash adventure into a place we're never coming back to, if we've got anything to say about it. That is a Garu. We should be alright with that, but I'm going to have to keep my uh, view quite far out for a little while. Because you never can tell when a skin spider is going to make an attack. Is that a big old skin spider fight over there? Oh! Ooh, possibly garu meat and skin spider claws for trade. Depending on who wins that fight. It looks like a big old, big old uh, fight going on there. Ooh, someone's in trouble. What's going on? Let's uh, hop back to Dustwall quickly and check in. What is currently happening? Who is currently attacking? Oh. What is it? You see, having all of the miners have to have the gate over means that, yeah, these sorts of things are going to happen a lot. But honestly, they're just bandits. I would be, frankly, shocked if they were to, able to do anything against our fighters. Telcast might take a little bit of uh, a pounding, but uh, 
it's all good in the end. You'll get better at dealing with all of this. Let's uh, let's fight everyone. Let's just turn them out. Uh, that that is turn them out of the the town. Don't turn them inside out. I know it's very easy to make that mistake. Try not to though. We want to come back to a nice clean base, not one caked in uh, in in dried blood and other bodily fluids. Uh, right, let's continue edging towards this location. Oh no, really? Oh, the corpse is gone. Was there not just a giant? Please tell me there still is, because I want the. Oh no! Really? Seems that all the nosh is gone. No, there we go. I just need a little bit more time to load in. All right, corpses. Corpses. I worry edging closer to this. Because when I left, there was a big old fight. There were definitely a bunch of Garu corpses. Oh, man. We've lost out on Nosh. How wretched is that? Very wretched. That's how wretched. But let's have a quick look at the map. Where do we need to be? Uh, we could follow this river all the way down to about here. Jump over to the ruins, and then it should be fairly easy to follow the river down to Drifter's Last. That won't take us too much time, I would hope. Okay, back to a wandering life for us. Okay, it looks like we're coming up to the end of this uh, Sea of Glass. There's the uh, crater of yonder. Now, originally, I assumed this was just the, the result of an impact and, and the high heat that that would cause. It does look like it, because a lot of these uh, glassy spires are pointing outwards. Now, obviously, it might not be glass. It could be obsidian. could be could be uh, lots of things, honestly. But uh, we've got a little, little spot over here. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe it wasn't a, a an impact. Um, this certainly doesn't look like a crater. Ooh, did someone just take damage? Oh, there's a big old fight going on over here. Um, skin spiders and something. I'm not going to go back for that, for obvious reasons. Uh, but, what is that? Uh, it's an iron resource. Hmm. You know what, this doesn't look like a terrible place for a base, in an odd way. I've, I'm keeping my eyes open, because as, as nice the dust wall is, I kind of feel that we could do a better job. Dust wall was, uh, was not so much a stopgap, but it, it was definitely a my first base attempt. At a base. I think we've learned a lot in base design. I think we could make something a lot prettier and a lot more compact, in fact, whilst just as uh, effective if we were to uh, begin again. Though I wouldn't like the uh, journey trying to bring everything from dust all the way down here. Oh my god, that would be quite the problem. Still, I'm not, uh, I'm not against the idea of relocating, and relocating quite far away might be quite fun. Uh, especially if we relocated to an area that was uh, somewhat more dangerous, uh, because it would give us a bit more of uh, an opportunity to train up things like turret gunners, but we would probably need dedicated turret guards at that point, constantly protecting the walls from encroaching beak things and other such monstrosities. It might make uh, raid much less likely. Ooh, the hook. Okay. Well, I'm generally trying to make my way over to this spot over there. It looks interesting. Very, very interesting. Dare we, dare we head down there? Now, it's coming up to midday, so it's quite far away from the point where I would like to set up another camp. I'm going to try and camp at night where I can. But this definitely is an interesting location. Uh, the, a lost library. Oh, okay. It looks like there's another fight going on at the homestead, so I might actually head over there, but... Ooh, what might we find in here? And should we encounter it with our people in a bit of a rough state? I'm not sure on that one. We've only got two people who are fully healed. Perhaps we should camp just outside. It, it almost looked like that was barricaded, though, and the barricades were on the outside. As a general rule, if you ever come upon a building where... The means of sealing it are on the outside. That's not a very big vote of confidence about what you're going to find on the inside. In fact, what you're probably going to find on the inside is death or something equally, equally uh, undesirable, I'll be honest. Uh, Eliza, you're doing a really good job out here. Actually, a fantastic job. But then again, these are dust bandits, so their skills are 
really low. Really, really low. Um, yeah, I mean, you're doing a good job of at least dumping their corpses. At the, at the very least, you're, you're taking them out. Uh, but for the most part, I, can, I can't imagine that this is a particularly uh, good uh, training for you. They're way too weak at this point, I would say. On that note, let's just do a quick sweep. I would like to check on what we've got. We've got no iron plates there, none there, only some iron here. Hmm. Who is generally running the uh, iron plates? Uh, you are told to store iron plates, but you're pretty busy right now. I think we may have taken most of the people who were working this away. It's a bit of a worry. We've got enough copper that we don't need to worry about it for a long time, and enough stone, likewise, that we don't need to worry about it for a very long time. I could have Hobbs switch from being a miner for uh, the time being. You're currently... Yeah, I'm thinking I might ha actually have you switch over to homestead, uh, homestead. Let's do that. Hobbs, you're switching to Homestead. Manu, I still need you to be bringing in the iron ore. We definitely need that. But Hobbs, uh, in Homestead now, we will take away your copper resource. We've got enough. What I would like you to work on is... Well, we could fill that up, or... No, we, we want the iron plate. So, Hobbs, could you please work on the iron refinery? And if you can't do that, work instead on the stone processor. That should help us out a little bit with getting all of that sorted. But I'm just going to let Dustwall pretty much tend for itself for the most part. It is capable of doing so. Uh, we've got one day, a return for tribute, but we'll get plenty of warning on that one. The Band of Bones Shack Challengers are going to be heading out before long. We've got a, a Bandit Raid, Black Dragon Ninjas. Oh, uh, where is that on the map? I had not noticed that, I'll be honest. Ah. Well. Are they heading towards us? Uh, in fact, you know what? We, we keep seeing these raids start. And they very rarely ever do anything. I'm fairly certain they die in the uh, Hiver territory just to the north. I'm pretty certain that they get out there and then get immediately murderized. Uh, by big things, most likely. Uh, okay, well, this is... That is a... Slow swim, but honestly, we need we need to give massive props to Crumple John here, because that is not an easy task. Crumple John is uh, swimming whilst carrying Griffin. I, I'm not entirely certain that you're keeping Griffin's face out of the water there, but uh, I mean, you almost are. I just kind of feel that you know his head is submerging every now and then, and as a general rule, if someone's unconscious, dunking their head in water. Not, not the best thing to do. I'm going to be honest with you. Pretty bad, actually. All right, I'm going to set up a little camp here. We're going to try and get some uh, some sleeping done so that our peeps are in a better state to check out this ruin. And I will bring you back when that's done. Okay, Griffin, I'm afraid you can't sleep the whole night through. You're almost fully healed. You are at 94 out of 100 for your chest, which means you've got a little bit of a... a a uh, malice to your uh, st uh, strength and to your dexterity. And now we're going to be on the move. Go ahead and... Uh, Griffin? There we go. Pick that up for us. There we go. Right, let's break down the campfire. Don't want to leave any uh, trace that we were here. Uh, Big Al has currently got a light, which may we may find useful in here. I'm not sure what we're going to, to discover. If, in fact, we're going to discover anything... It could just be as easy that we uh, discover nothing at all in here. But, Ruka, as you're still set to block, and indeed taunt... Uh, well, actually, no. No, let's, let's, let's have the group stand back. Could you guys just go ahead and sneak for me for now? And while you're all doing that, Avak is going to make uh, his way forward. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we've got, uh, hmm. Does anyone have a particularly good chance of opening this? Yeah, definitely. Something that's locked... I'm even more interested now. Okay. Uh, I could use tools, or I could just try to pick the lock. All right. I'm down with us slowly uh, opening this by uh, just attempting until we get it right. And as Avak's doing that, he's going to get better at doing it, which is uh, always quite nice. Lock picking of 19. 
So, uh, less than 10% at 19 skill. Hmm. All right. Uh, I don't think it's going to take us too long. Uh, let's see how many attempts are needed. Okay, it looks like Avak has finally finished to pick that lock. Uh, the last time I saw he was up at around 12% chance, and has actually gained five levels in lock picking doing that. That was not bad. I'd open this library. What have we got inside? There we enter. Uh, doesn't look like anything right now. Uh, oh my lord. We've got a couple of books and a lot of... Oh, old maps as well. Hopefully these will stack. I think we saw a parchment over there as well. Okay, well, we're not going to stop grabbing things just yet. There is a way up. So let's go and investigate this. Let's uh, have a look through here. Uh, I, I want you to be basically walking right now. Go ahead. No, no. Go, go up. To wherever we're going next. What have we got up here? Right, this is the highest floor. Gears, hinges, lots of what well, books? I guess. All right. Well, uh, I, I mean, it, it, it's it's kept with its name, I suppose. Uh, sure. Everyone, come along inside. Doesn't look like we need to sneak after all. There's nothing bad in here, but so many things that we can loot. Now, I'm wondering if these books are tech books or not. Ruka. Hmm. Ruka has not got much room. Uh, I could instead, because of, of the ability for Ruka to stack items in her trade backpack, I think I would prefer, if we can, to move a number of items out to other people. Um, if Griffin can take all of this, I, yeah, I would have been surprised. Uh, alas, no. Uh, however, Big Al may be able to take some. Uh, in fact, Big Al can probably take quite a lot of stuff off Ruka. We'll just pop that over there. And in fact, we're going to move these tools out as well. Let's pop all of the... Well, actually, stacking the tools seems like it would be a fairly good uh, use of my space. The annoying thing here is, unfortunately, some of these animal skins are considered stolen. And so take up a lot more room than realistically they should have to, in my opinion. Didn't steal them. I won them fair and square. By killing the things that owned them. That is not thieving. That is uh, redistribution of wealth aggressively. Uh, right. Let's uh, go ahead and start gathering things then, I guess. Let's see what this is. And this as well. Are they just regular tech books? Ah, I'll try it. They are. I was hoping there'd be something a little bit more interesting than that. All right, well, we may still be able to use all the damage books and other doodads and, and gizmos, so I'm going to start gathering everything. I know we'll bring you back when we're ready to move on. Okay, I think we've managed to pick up pretty much everything of any value. The old books only had a sale value of six, and whilst there are enough old books in here to be a couple of hundred cats, maybe, uh, we're going to be focusing only on things that actually have a reasonable return on investment, and that is old maps with an average price of 180 parchments, with an average price of 180 and the various gears and sprockets and other doodats and doohickeys which themselves will bring in a fair fair bit of cash i would imagine now can i squeeze in any other items in here i can actually pop gears in there that's actually fairly good because uh the gears are taking up a bit of room now we've got some shack challenges on the way to dust wall right now i am very hopeful but we're going to be able to put them down without too much uh, issue. Uh, Vical, uh, you're, you're mostly carrying uh, nothing that we need to move around. Okay, well, that was not too bad. We got a couple of books out of it. I think uh, six in total, which is a reasonable return. And amongst everything else we've got, uh, I'm fairly happy that we came out of that with uh, a decent amount of cat's worth of materials for trading. Now, though... I've noticed a lot of bone dogs active up and around this area, and I'm not entirely happy about that, I'll be honest. Uh, we've got a ways to go to get down to Drifter's Last. We're probably going to try and move in smaller steps whilst uh, I keep an eye on what's going on up here. They've got a good while to move all the way to Dustwall, so, well, that being said... Probably going to get there before we make any significant progress to Drifter's Last, honestly. 
still, we'll try and get a, uh, a fair way of the uh, way to our destination before we have to jump back and focus on the defense of Dustwall. I'm quite interested, though, in how our, uh, our new gate system is going to hold up. Got a group of outlaw swordsmen. I mean, they've got uh, decent defense, but not very much attack. I'm not sure that they're going to cause us any any significant issues. I certainly hope they won't, because it would be kind of sad to have to put them all down. But uh, I'm fairly certain that we would be able to. So let's continue on without too much worry here. Let's try and get all the way down to Drifter's Last, or just outside. If we don't have to stop, then I'll be very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. Okay, it looks like our guests are just about at the front door. So, with that in mind, let's go and have a final look at where... Ooh, actually, have you managed to dislodge yourselves? Oh, it seems they may have. Ah, our Black Dragon Ninja friends may be coming along to join the party as well. Uh, not that they're really friends, but... Uh... Hopefully they stay out of it until we're really ready to uh, to get involved with them. Uh, the Voyager group is still on its way, heading into Drifter's Last. Now, I don't know what Drifter's Last is like, so getting right up there in their faces without uh, an invitation may be a bad move. Uh, it could be something like the Holy Nation, where certain certain races, certain, uh, certain genders are not welcomed. Oh, let's be honest, the Holy Nation, one race and one gender is reckon welcomed. The other gender of that race is uh, is tolerated, at best. Um, right. I don't think there's actually... I, I'm fairly certain that in, in Kenshi it, it, it is pretty much just uh, just that simple when it comes to, to races and genders, but I could be pleasantly surprised. Uh, right. Let's head up and see how things are going over here. Let's jump back, get our turret gunner set up. I have been trying to construct two extra turrets to defend, but I suspect we're not going to have the materials for it, though I could be mistaken. Uh, no, actually, it looks like we might have enough. That would be very nice. You two defeated us before. Uh, yes, we did. That is true. What else are you going to say? We will not lose again. Uh, well... We defeated you with an inferior defense setup before. I suspect it is literally going to go as badly for you this time. I'm ter ter terribly sorry to say. Uh, could you man this turret? Um, pretty much everyone here is now decent with uh, with guns. Uh, man that turret, please be bad. Man this turret. Uh, Miss Mini, we will get you on this one. There you go. Uh, Manu, could you man this turret for me? There we are. Let's get everyone ready. And we should be able to just wallop them while they're out there at the door. Uh, we've got a lot of guns here. And they should start attacking more or less straight away. Hopefully they can shoot through this. Ah, actually it looks like maybe they can't. Did someone manage to glitch through? Oh dear. Uh, that is not good, because there's a bunch of people who are about to get face-stomped by them. Well. Uh, Matt, you're over there. Let's get you on a turret as well, please. Go ahead. Man this turret. I'm not going to try and repair the gates this time. I was hopeful that they would be able to shoot through. But it's possible that they can't. Uh, this needs just a few plates to be ready. You've got enough there, so with you two on that side, you're probably good. Telcast, Oxford, head back in. Shrike, head back in. Soulwind, I'm not sure where you're heading to. You're actually heading to fight. Alright, let's try and get everyone... No, 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 no. No, no, no. You guys need to be over here right now. And you very much need to be inside here. Right, the gate is... Or will be closed in just a moment. Close the gate. And close this gate. There we go. That should stop anyone getting stuck outside, I'm hopeful. Uh, yep, gates are closed. Perfect. Right, get on the guns. There we are. You two can finish 
building this ideally. And Soul Wind, I think you should be heading for this turret. I'm hopeful that, that is going to be the outcome. Yeah, there we go. They, it does look like they're just going to get through on this side. That's a bit of a pain. I was really, really hoping that you'd be able to shoot through that. Oh no, there we go. A couple of shots are, are getting over there. Uh, it'll it'll take a bit of time, but uh, that's fine. We've got a little bit of uh, maintenance going on. As long as we've got a few people here and there, it should be okay. How's this uh, gun going up? It's almost finished. And there we go. Right. Eliza and Jin, which of you have got the best uh, turret skills? Uh, 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 Eliza, you are not doing it. Jin, I hope you've got better. But uh, even if you don't... Yeah, you've both got one. Well, Eliza's the one who uh, was spotted first. So, everyone on the turrets then. And we'll see how long this goes on for. Uh, we will have a little bit of uh, repairs going on here and there, but uh, generally speaking, I think... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. The lady wants a decent loot, and that's what we're going to get her. This shithole better have a decent load. Shithole, what shining hole do you think you just crawled out of? <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, looks pretty decent to me. Maybe we should move in. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Nah, once a shitholer, always a shitholer. I ain't made for luxury. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, fair enough. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. What's going on down there? Nothing just yet, it seems. But for a moment, are we gonna stand here yakking, or are we gonna see what's inside? Well, if you wait for a little while, you'll be able to just get in straight away. Oh, what you doing? Oh, they're having a fight. Oh, this is glorious. This is the best possible outcome. Ah, we're gonna have so many targets for our gunners. What oh, is going on there? Someone inside? Are they breaking the wall? What are those ratchets? How rude. Um, hopefully our turret gunners can actually do some damage here because uh, it doesn't appear to be going that well. I'll be honest. Uh, we've got a uh, band of bones in here, but honestly, Shrike, Oxhead, and Talcas are wrecking face there, but we've got someone heading up from this mini. Uh, that's... Uh, not ideal. I'll be honest with you. Quite unideal, actually. Uh, what's going on down here? They're still having a bit of a squabble amongst themselves, but... Yeah, the larger group are trying to break this door. How about you two target over here? Beep and Bard, you've got a clearer shot on this one. Shoot there. Soulwind, Manu... Are you just in there wailing on our wall? You are actually wailing on the wall. Could you repair that? There we go. Uh, could you guys start firing over here as well? It does so seem that we are having a couple of issues with people just getting through. Uh, you're down. Alright, let's get everyone up there to attack them for me, please. Miss Mini, get back on the turret while you can. Good. There we go. We should be able to draw... There we are. Perfect. Right. Matt, Miss Minnie, you focus on the ones that are wandering wherever you can. There's actually a little bit more involved than uh, than previous, and that's partially due to the fact that they're getting through there. Oh, okay. They've decided that... No, no. Got to get involved in this fight and uh, patch people up. That's actually a higher priority, to be fair. Yes. Uh, everyone else has decided to just bail. Hmm. Why... What do you have to be? Training? Uh, no. No, you are in fact not. You are both back on the turrets. Uh, you do have to struggle with this game sometimes. It does, unfortunately, seem to really resist um, working the way you might might expect it to. Matt, back up on the, on the turret, if you'd be so kind. Shrike, you can go ahead and repair what you can. There we go again. A couple of shots in again. Uh, I think the uh, Black Dragon Ninja is still out there. Just generally attacking my walls. I can't really say I think that's a very sensible thing to be doing with your time, but sure. If that's what you want to do, I guess. I can't stop you. Um, now what I could do is if I actually had all of my turret gunners in a group, then I could pinpoint them 
to target. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's start doing that. Shoot at this bandit. Everyone together, please. In unison. Are you really just missing? Wow, that is actually really bad. You're not good at this job. Right there we go. One down. No, no, no. I want you to shoot at this one next. How have you? What? Are you you? Some sort of ghost shenanigans going on here. Crazy ghost shenanigans, in fact. Yep, they're, they're using the turrets without actually using the turrets. Craziness, but alright. Uh, how is this place going right there? Yeah, and any time that I tell them to do that, uh, they do actually just stop using the, the turrets. That's a massive pain in the bum. So I guess I'm going to just have to let them take their own, uh, their own sweet time and... and decide on their preferred targets themselves. Not ideal at all. Does it always work like that? I don't seem to recall it being this finicky in the past, but uh, that might just be rose-tinted glasses going on there. Let's get that one going. Uh, Matt and Miss Minnie, let's get you back up top, please. And thank you. There we are. And Miss Minnie, back on this one. There we go. And I guess just have fun then, whilst you can. Uh, it's all wind and man. Uh, wandering off to do something else. Uh, Your engineering. I would really much prefer it if you were turreting. Yeah. That would be a lot better. If we can just kill them, we're not going to have to repair things as much. Think of it that way. Also, everyone's getting a little bit better at their job now. Yeah, there are less and less people to attack. We're now dealing with the, the Black Dragon Ninjas. It looks like most of the Shack are dead. Are we gonna, gonna loot them? I don't think so. I think we might even just burn their bodies at this point, honestly. Um, because carrying them out, they'll be constantly waking up. That being said, it will give us an opportunity to do a little bit more melee training because they'll wake up at different rates. And dealing with one or two people at a time, as an entire group, especially considering how many of them are realistically just going to die. The amount of blood loss here is going to be atrocious. Um, and I don't think many of them will ever really be a threat again. Uh, we're actually not doing too badly at all. Not too badly at all. I think, yeah. We're down to three or just two people left. And I'm hopeful that everyone has gotten a really good uh, opportunity to learn here. Oh no, someone managed to make it through. Or rather, woke back up. Briefly, but they did wake up. Uh, did Shrike just get shot? Uh, yes. Uh, did they? Yeah, I'm fairly certain Shrike just got shot in the stomach. Well, that's a bit wretched, I'm going to be honest. Okay, um... The Black Dragon Ninjas and the Shek, uh, the Shek Kingdom will be returning for tribute, or rather they're on their way, and the Band of Bones have just been put down. Man, it's all gold with Dustwall. My lord. Alright, well, everything's done, so we can open up these doors, and everyone can start getting out there and, and treating themselves, but uh, let's get you all down. Off the turrets, please. There we are. And hopefully, people will be okay to uh, bandage themselves up, carry people outside, so on and so forth, doing the things they need to do. Yeah, we should be okay. We've got a reasonable amount of items here, I think. Let's uh, just go into craft and make sure we've got a decent amount of first aid kits. Um, yeah. All this is going to require is fabrics. So, yeah, go ahead and just make a couple of basic ones. And then a couple of uh, standard ones as well, just to make sure that we're all okay. Uh, I can help. I'm sure you can. The Shack are going to be here before too long to gather more items. That's a little bit worrisome. I did notice, though, that we've been stacking dust switches into the animal feed trough. So, yeah, that's not great. Uh, we really want that to be gristle flaps or tainted meat, if anything. But finally, we are just outside Drifter's Last. And if we wrap up this episode with us inside a new town, I'm going to consider that a, uh, a victory for our voyages.
Quite a large victory, actually. Hello, you? Who are you? Uh, Samurai Sergeant. United Cities. Okay. That's fine. I, I'm assuming we're welcome here. Uh, okay. Can't get in there, I, I take it. Um, where are we going, then? It looks like the only way in is over here. Fine. Let's just get inside. See if they're going to attack us or anything like that. I like how they've used the buildings as walls, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, what's going on here? Uh, these, like, um, just outdoor uh, work rooms or, or perhaps uh, low quality housing. Or some sort. Uh, don't come any further, cit uh, citizen. Gonna need to check your uh, junk before you can go into the city, Roma. Standard anti drug stuff. How about I save you some time? Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, looks clean. Move along. Perfect. There we are. Oh my lord. We are finally in Drifter's Last. I am so happy. Have we got much food? We've got loads of food, so I can just leave you guys just kind of chilling out here for now. And head back to Homestead and just watch them clean things up a little bit. But uh, I think we'll actually deal with the Shek tribute in the next episode. This has been a bit of a long one already, at least uh, in terms of recording time. And uh, I'm going to have to spend quite a lot of time editing that up. But that is going to be it from me. For those of you who are wondering about how frequently I'm going to be uploading these, it will be a little bit more frequently in a few days' time. I am so, so close to the end of the road with regards to moving house. I've just got to finish cleaning up the old one and hand it over to the landlord. And we'll be done. And that's about two days away from now. I am looking forward to that more than I could possibly express with words. And I hope you're looking forward to a return to uh, more frequent content from me. But until next time, and as always, as the Shek, uh, loom over the horizon. Take care, everyone. <laughs>